Hi everyone, I'm Thomas Brown with SleepRite. Today we're going to talk about different types of dental guards. We're going to start with the anatomy of the teeth. I have a type of knot here that shows actually the roots of the teeth and it gives us a good representation of where they all are. So we'll start with the anterior teeth. The anterior teeth are going to be in the front. They're going to go from cuspid to cuspid. So you go to cuspid, lateral, central, central, lateral, cuspid. And notice that these anterior teeth have single cusps and then they have single roots. So these, de these teeth aren't designed for blunt force, they're not designed for crushing, they're designed for tearing in the front of the mouth. So when we look at the posterior teeth, we're gonna start with the first bicuspid and go to the second molar. The, the first bicuspid has um, a two roots and the second bicuspid has one root and then both of the molars have tri-roots on the maxilla. The lower, the, the molars on the lower are gonna have bi-roots. So the, ma the maxillary molars are gonna be the strongest. They're gonna handle most of the chewing forces, 80%. And they, they do this with more cusps and more root system. Conversely, the anterior teeth are not designed to handle as much force with the single cusp and the single roots. There's three types of dental guards. The posterior dental guard, the anterior dental guard, and a full coverage dental guard. We'll start with the posterior dental guard. You notice how bite pads cover the posterior teeth. When you clinch, it's going to be in between the upper posterior teeth and the lower posterior teeth. Remember when we talked about the anatomy of the teeth, and we talked about how the root system for the posterior teeth were more robust there was tri-roots and bi-roots and single roots in the posterior teeth. And then we talked about the anterior teeth, how they just had the single roots and the single cusp. So that makes the posterior dental guard, if there's a lot of force while you're grinding your teeth, it makes it a good option. The second dental guard is an anterior dental guard. The anterior dental guard only covers anterior teeth. So remember, all the forces with an anterior dental guard will be distributed to the anterior teeth. And those anterior teeth have only single cusp and single roots. The third dental guard is a full occlusal dental guard. So it, it's gonna cover the posterior teeth, the anterior teeth, and the posterior on the other side. Here's one fitted. Notice how it has a full coverage all the way around. And so when, when you're grinding your teeth, it distributes the forces among all the teeth instead of just posterior teeth or anterior teeth. I hope this really helped you. Make sure to like and subscribe. And make sure to stay tuned for our next video where we dive deeper into full coverage dental guards.